Hi everyone, so this is going to be a haul video and it's pretty much Halloween and special effects related. So a lot of the stuff is for tutorials, things like that. Some of it my mum paid for because I'm going to be doing my brother and his friends makeup uh, for a gig that they have near Halloween. I thought it would be kind of cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been buying some things to use in tutorial. kidding <laughs> and props um, so wigs things like that um, but I'm not going to include them because they're kind of boring but these are the special effects things that I picked up from a store called Scotty's Makeup and Beauty and that's out in Broadway New South Wales so just outside of Sydney they were at IMATS and I knew that they had some of the products that I was looking for so I thought I'd pop out there and see specifically the nose and scar wax which is what I was searching for now what I picked up today, which wasn't from their store, but I did see Juicy Star 07 I think had one of these in the little orange and white ghosts, so I thought they were really cute, but I really didn't expect us to actually get them here in Australia, but we did. However, I picked these two, the silver and black spiderwebs and the kind of Frankenstein looking nail effects from Sally Hansen. Um, but anyway, into the stuff that I bought from the makeup store. I bought a couple of pots of the Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. A lot of the products are going to be Ben Nye just because that's what they stock. Um, it's not a personal preference or anything because I've never really used any special effects makeup before. Um, ben Nye Stage Blood because you can never have too much fake blood. I bought the Ben Nye Fresh Scab which is essentially like fake blood but it's this really goopy, gross smells weird, it smells like yak, if any of you guys remember yak, like that weird melty play-doh kind of stuff. Um, but it smells much better than liquid latex. The next one I bought, it's a similar thing, it's called Thick Blood. It looks a little darker. Um, I thought it would be interesting just to be a different texture than the runny stage blood that I already have. Uh, it might be good to get in to like the deep wounds and things like that. It kind of sounds gross, doesn't it? Uh, then I bought some drying blood in the colour Fresh from Fleet Street. Um, they had some other colours, but that looked what I wanted the most. It was the closest match. Some setting spray, basically, so if you do sweat, it won't run down your face. Uh, ben Nye Magic Cake in Split Pea. It's an aqua paint, um, like face and body paint. And then some of their own brand liquid latex but it actually it sounds really really runny so I'm going to have to have a play with that and see how it works. Um, some sponges which I actually thought would be really quite cool to use to make textures because they have like this like an aero bar kind of have it's bubbly in the middle they look like that so I thought I'd have a play around with those. Some Ben Nye character powders in Plains Dust, Ash Powder and Charcoal Essentially, you use them to make it look like that, if that makes sense. So, if you need something to look like charcoal, so just say you do like a burnt flesh and you want it to have a little bit of charcoal around the outside or on your clothes, um, you could just kind of buff it into clothing. Um, wouldn't recommend it if you really like the clothing because it might stain, so be careful if you're going to do that. I also picked up these because they were different. And I thought I would try them out, see how they go. It's the Scar FX Gel and the Flesh FX Gel. You kind of warm them up as far as I know and do your thing. <laughs> um, ben Nye Liquiset. Essentially you replace water with this and you use that together or anything else that you really mix water in with and make it waterproof. Ben Nye Neutral Set Colourless Setting Powder. And Ben Nye Clown White, kind of like a, a creamy base. I figure white's a good colour to get because you can always build up colour on top of that. Um, as, apart from that, that's really it. I mean, I want to film a few more Halloween tutorials. I do have quite a few in mind. It's just finding the time because with some of them they are quite time consuming. Um, so they take about an hour and a bit to film and then again to edit it all. Um, 
but I'm going to try to come up with some quick ones. If you have any Halloween requests at all, please comment and leave them below in this video and I will read through them and see what you guys are looking for because if I see that there's one that I think I can do quite quickly, um, even though I'm working late this week, I might be able to film a couple after work for some of the nights and that way I can get some more out there before Halloween. But if I can't get them up in time for Halloween, I might still put them up anyway because they're going to help you guys for next year and um, I mean if you do dress up parties, costume parties, things like that, it's always kind of nice to have inspiration. So let me know what you guys want if you've got any specific requests. I'm going to try to do some non-gory ones as well but I'm having fun with the uh, gory fake blood kind of things because I've never really used that stuff before. Um, so I'm kind of excited to, to try all of it out. But I do want to do some non-gory ones because I know some people really aren't into that. Um, I hope you're enjoying what's up at the moment. Um, but yeah, if you've got any requests, please comment and let me know below. And if there's one that I think I'm not going to be I'm going to be able to do or make it a really quick and easy one, I will do it. <laughs> hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I'll see you all again soon.